fuzzing is a technique to automatically test input to some software to see what happens. This could be a crash or just general errors or interesting behavior, whatever you are looking for. Now fuzzing is not easy. There are a lot of different challenges like speed, scalability, detecting errors or whatever you look for, but also how do you even generate these interesting input test cases in the first place? That's basically the whole art of fuzzing. For example, if a software wants an integer as input, what kind of fuzzy tests would you like to do? Other numbers? Leading spaces? Small numbers? Large numbers? Larger numbers? Leading zeros? Negative numbers? Floats? Text? Long text? Arbitrary bytes? There are so many options. Now if you need a simple but fairly powerful general purpose fuzzer, then check out Radamsa. Radamsa is a test case generator for robustness testing, aka a fuzzer. It is typically used to test how well a program can withstand malformed and potentially malicious inputs. It works by reading sample files of valid data and generating interestingly different outputs from them. The main selling points of Radamsa are that it has already found a slew of bugs and programs that actually matter. It is easily scriptable and easy to get up and running. Let's revisit our example about the fictional program that wants an integer. And then we use Radamsa by giving it one example number by piping it into the standard input of Radamsa. And Radamsa then prints a potential fuzzing test case. Now here it returned a huge number. Next it actually returned nothing, so you would test an empty input. Then it returned a small number too, then 256. Now echo also adds a new line after the number we pass in, so for this test case Radamsa simply decided to remove this new line. A few test cases later Radamsa even introduced some unprintable characters. You see, Radamsa is pretty smart in generating good fuzzing input. It tries really hard to create useful input that is not just random bytes, but actually has hopefully some meaning for the target. Let's even try it with a simple HTML string, an SVG tag with an onload JavaScript alert attribute. You can for example see here a test case where Radamsa seems to be aware that's a number and changed it. And here added some arbitrary bytes before the equal sign. It also constructs invalid HTML by repeating opening or closing tags. Now see, we never gave it an empty opening tag, but for some reason it still used one. If you have an XML parser, this is really good test input that stresses the hierarchical structure of XML or HTML. Radamsa is pretty smart and powerful, but it's also so easy to use that you can rapidly prototype a fuzzer for some software you want to test.